Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. Please subscribe our channel for more videos about testing and DevOps. So in this video, we are going to see how to configure our WebDriver agent project. So basically, you will get a question why we need this WebDriver agent project. Okay. So this is like an interface between your device and the JSON, like whatever the request coming from the APM server, it will take it and talk to your device. So where will get it? You guys have already installed APM, right? So on, if you have already installed, just go to CD application apm.app content resource then app node model. So this is the path. Don't worry about this path. I will put into description so that it will be easy for you guys. So once you do LS, you can see all the WebDriver agent project dot Xcode project. Xcode project is there. This we have to open and configure with the same certificate whatever we have done with the sample app like uh, this is a sample app last video i have shown right i have used my personal team x code manage profile same iphone developer certificate the same certificate i have to embed there as well so let's see like how to open from here just put open space dot it will open the finder actually just double click on webdriver agent project okay it's already selected automatically. Let's see. It's actually doing index. So once it's done, I think we are ready to build. Because it's a web driver agent, right? So it's it will take a little bit time. So just make sure that you have clicked automatically manage sign in. If you didn't log in with any iPhone uh, like iCloud ID, please log in with some iCloud ID. If you don't have any iCloud ID, please create with your iPhone whichever you have in your hand. Okay. So it is asking me to select a device. I will select same device. There is some warning, but don't worry about it. So once this is built, we are ready to automate actually. Okay. So if you are not able to install this or if any failure on this WebDriver agent project, when you are doing automation stuff, it will just install your app. It won't launch your app itself. If it is app launched also, if build is not succeed of WebDriver agent, you like uh, this, whatever the APM request coming to this uh, device, it won't perform. So if you are getting some issue, uh, like interacting with the app that's mostly problem with web driver agent okay thank you guys thanks for watching so next video we can see how can we do our uh, first automation script with ios app